Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Quantum Bring to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. I'll be talking about marriage life or married young. If you guys think I got married young, because some people do think I got married young. Um, I don't know young. Young, I don't know. I, I got married at 23. I don't think it's young, but some people think it is. So I'll be talking about marriage life. I'll talk about home ownership, and I will also talk about how to like leave people alone or learn how to let go of people that no longer check in with you or care about you as much as you care about them. So that's the little caveat, okay? The last one is a little caveat because maybe you might be going through what I'm going through at the moment. I'm learning how to let go of certain people if I feel like the vibe is not, you know, matched. So yeah before we get started don't forget to subscribe if you are new we're trying to grow here this is the look we're going to be doing in this video by the way so i hope you guys will enjoy seeing me slay okay so um you guys by the thumbnail you guys already see the difference right because i i think i think your girl did this okay i think i think i think i did that I did that just by the thumbnail i'm sure y'all can tell okay but like i said subscribe make sure the notification bell is turned on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video do not also forget to share this video around maybe someone want to hear about this so yeah guys and don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoy it okay follow me on my social media platforms instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok the links will be in the description box down below for your convenience and yeah let's get started all right guys so i did my eyebrows off camera so this can go pretty fast because this is a quick, you know, chit chat, get ready with me. And yeah, by the title, you guys already know we're going to be discussing about a few things here. And um, right now, I'm using my Becca Matte Primer. And I like to put this on my face. So it can give me that matte look. But then, yeah, guys, um, I haven't done one of these in a while. But I was like... I'm trying to do more, so I don't know if you guys mess with it or not. So let me know in the comment section or just thumb this video up if you enjoy these type of videos. And I'll do more of those. So um, in this video, I'll be answering uh, the most asked question that I always receive um, by people on social media or in real life. Um, the first question I'll be answering is about marriage life. I got my little notes right here by the way but yeah it's about marriage life a lot of people have asked me you know how is it how do you enjoy it being married young i got married at 23 right now i'm 24 being a year already and um yeah a lot of people say how does it feel to be married young a lot of people say just how does it feel to be married but i get that question a lot and if you follow me on social media you know, I just came back from my country, Cameroon. Oh, my Cameroonian. Hey, drop the flag down below. Um, I went there for a sad uh, reason, but people there were asking me the same question. You know, people that just, you know, heard about me getting married. Since I got married here in the States, they were like, oh my gosh, how does it feel? And... First of all, I love it, okay? 10,000% recommend as long as it's with the right person because I could only imagine doing this thing called life with the wrong person. Like, I don't wish that even to my worst enemy. So, first, I recommend it. I recommend marriage as long as, you know, you're married to the right person. And one thing I've learned is... I like when it dries a little bit before I just pat it down. But one thing I've learned is finding the right person is a blessing. And it's really, really hard. Like, I'm literally so blessed and thankful for the men I have in my life. Because, baby, <laughs> some of the stuff that I see people go through in their relationship or marriage, I'm just like, Lord, I thank you. Then again, I'm like, maybe God made me go through all those messed up previous relationship because he was planning this wonderful man for me you know I don't know but either way I'm blessed I'm thankful for him I'm thankful for have I met him when I was 17 y'all 17 I was pretty young so I'm glad that I met him at that age as well you know 
So for me, um, we grew up together because I was 17, he was 20. We grew up together. Um, we went through certain things together before we even got married, you know. So I feel like marriage just, you know, even got us even more closer. Because right before all the camera got caught up, I was saying that marriage just, you know, solidified everything even more. Like you are my person. And that's just that, you know. For us to be apart, it takes a lot. Then it, it takes more than just walking away. You know what I'm saying? So, he solidified that. And I know a lot of people be like, marriage is not an end all be all. I agree. Um, I feel like a lot of people want marriage, but they're not ready for marriage. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people want it, but they're not ready for it. So, marriage is beautiful. I 10,000% recommend it once again when it's with the right person. But if you're with the wrong person, it's, you will hate it. One, you will not recommend it to most people. And, you know, you will not be happy. You know, but then again, some people see the red flags in the get-go and decide not to listen to it. So yeah, whether you consider me getting married at 23 young or not, it's a beautiful thing to me. And um, based on the answer my husband was was giving people back home, he also think it's beautiful. He also stated to those people asking that he recommends. So I guess he likes it too. <laughs> But I guess I know he likes it because this man be forgetting his wedding ring and come back just to get it and go back out. So he's like, no, I like wearing it. I'm married to you. I'm like, okay, man. Okay, married man. So that's that. I recommend it. The other question I get is how does it feel to leave with a different member or a different person? <laughs> um... I don't know. We started living together like a year before we got married, I believe. So I was like, I need to test the waters. Mm, I'm not about to go get married to someone and then moving with him and realize that he's something else, you know. Thankfully, he, he you know, he wasn't. But we lived together for a year before um, getting married. So I recommend that as well. I know a lot of um, African, so I know a lot of African people, especially our parents, you know, do not like that idea. But one of my teachers told me, she was like, do you ever buy a car without test driving it? And I said, no. She said, exactly. Why would you marry someone without test driving it? Which is test driving it, like, you know, living with the person at least for a couple of times. Even though I know some people can say, oh, you know, he can fake his behavior. You know, until y'all get married and he show you who he is. I, I know. I understand that part. But faking it, one day, like, you're going to have some type of red flag that will pop out. Now, you may ignore it, but something will show up that will make you be like, hmm. But, you know, because you're in love, you might overlook it. You might overlook it, but something will pop up, you know. But um, nine times out of ten, you will see, like, who the person really is by living with the person and making sure that this is the person you really want to marry. So, that's my thought on that. Like I said, a lot of people will disagree with me, which I understand. Like I said, I'm African, so my people will be the first one to disagree with it. But like I always say, I'm not about to marry somebody they're moving with the person and find out that that person is a serial killer or whatever he does at night that i didn't know when we were just going on vacation together because going on a vacation for a month or hang or going on vacation for a few weeks you don't know the person fully like i needed that year for real like i needed to live with the man for a year at least 
for me to fully make my mind. So, yeah, we were already engaged though. So, that is that. Now, let's talk about home ownership. I'm thinking about making a series about home ownership because if most of you guys do not know, my husband and I bought our first home a couple months before we got married, literally. Because we, we you know, wanted to get it right when we get married, but you know, the deal was so good we had to get it like, a couple months before we got married. So that's what we did. We got our home. I was 23, like I said, he, he was 26 because it's three years. He was 26. So a lot of people asked me about um, the process. I'm thinking about making more videos about home ownership. Thumbs up the video once again. Or let me know down below if that will interest you. But one thing I always tell people is um, make sure you get a home that you actually like. Don't just get it because the price is right. Get a home that you actually like because you most likely be in that home for a while. And you don't want to be in a home that you hate. <laughs> for a while then you'll be miserable so if you guys want to show you let me know I'm just you know doing this look quickly while I'm talking to you guys so yeah make sure it's a home that you actually like you know I like to I want to say a home that you love but you know at least you know like that home Especially as a first home, if you're intending to purchase another home eventually. Because that's our, you know, thinking process. You know, that was our thinking process. And it still is our thinking process at the moment. Like, we're planning on purchasing a bigger home once we start a family, God willing. I'm already putting it out there. We will purchase a bigger home once we start a family once our family start growing so you know i'm starting to tap into manifestation y'all i'm starting to tap into manifestation y'all prayers and manifestation i'm trying to just because i'm already into prayers i'm trying to tap into manifestation so yeah that's that the process it took us a couple of months because some home like we there's some home that we, we liked and um someone bit higher than us and got it so it took a few months hold on so like i said we were really blessed you know to get this home because we got the home you know during the panoramic the parasonic and um at that time home prices were great i'm talking about because people were losing their job um it's sad you know to say it, but it's a fact people were losing their jobs people were um getting evicted mind you i'm saying i'm not happy for this happening to those that you know it, that you know went through this but it's a fact people were foreclosing the home because they couldn't afford it anymore so that was at that period so it took really a few months to get a home to buy a house but before that we lived in a um one bedroom apartment so yeah that's that's that the process wasn't so long and um, it really yeah, it wasn't so long and we had a really good um, realtor she was so patient but then I'm the one that found my home for real like he was patient because whenever I would find a house or a couple houses that I wanted to visit she was always making sure she was available no matter the time she would work you know around our schedule but other than that i found my home 
I said, okay, I found this home. Okay, we'll go check it out. And that's when we went and checked it out. So, yeah, I found my home. Because people have been asking me, you know, was the real to the person that I found your home? Nope, I found my own house. And I just hit up. I said, okay, I want us to go check out this house. She said, okay, cool. So we went and checked it out. Loved it. And got it. <laughs> Literally. So, yeah. I feel like making a series about purchasing a home because a lot of people do ask me about it. Um, I feel like I, I, I learned a lot from it to the point that, like, because I was literally looking at homes on a regular because, you know, I didn't want any home to go past me without me at least checking it out. I didn't want to miss on a home opportunity. So I was literally sleeping on my phone just looking at home, which is not good. But I was doing that. That's my reality. That's what I was. That was my reality. That's what I was doing. And um, it paid off because I got the home in a couple months. Some people take years to find a home. Like I said, you got to make sure it's a home you enjoy because and you love because you'll be there for a while. So I'm blessed. You know, I'm really blessed and thank thankful for this home because it's a beautiful home. I love the home. And I can't wait for us to get our bigger home when the time comes. We're not rushing it when the time comes. But right now, it's just me, him, and my dog in the house. Like, <laughs> we ain't got to go nowhere. We ain't got to move. We don't have kids yet. So, for right now, we're good. For right now, we are Gucci. Seriously, we are good. So another thing, I would just add this like a bonus thing that have been going on in my life is learning how to distance myself from people that do not, you know, care about me as much as I care about them. That's one thing I'm trying to do and I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing an okay job. Oops, I put a lot. I feel like I'm doing an okay job at that because, baby, I'm literally, I'm literally tired of being that friend that always reach out and wanna hang out and all that. So, that's a bonus sprinkle that I'm putting in there. Just letting you guys know. That's one thing I've been doing. Learning how to you know, distance myself a bit. You know, staying in my lane, if you shall call it that. that. Yep, staying in my lane, if you shall call it that. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So, sum everything up. Hold on, y'all. I'm almost done. For eyeshadow, what I like to do is I just like applying this um highlight. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glue Sun Dip Kit. I just like to put this one on my lid. I like to do this. Yeah. Yep. I put a bit on my chair like that. Like that. And the leftover. Remove it a bit here and go under my room like that just a little bit literally and uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
do my lips before I do the summary. So guys, let me just finish doing my lips and um, put on my lashes and I'll come and close up this video and summarize everything that I discussed here, okay? Alright. And here I am, guys. So to recap everything we talked about here, it's marriage life. I definitely recommend. Um, home ownership. I, I'm, I'm planning on really doing more videos about that so just let me know down below it was a really easy process for me because i did my research like i said i found my home you know i had a realtor but i found my home and also i am learning how to you know leave people alone and learn how to just move on without you know having any problem or making a fuss out of people's behavior because like i say people are going to be people there's nothing you can do about that and yeah so if you guys enjoy this type of video definitely let me know down below comment down below as well so i can um post more of these type of videos but you can also put down topics that you want me to talk about on my next teach i get ready with me i want to do more of these because it's fun you know i like just sitting down and talking to you guys next time i'll make sure i post a poll on my instagram so follow me on that the link will be in the description box down below for your convenience follow me on instagram so you can you know participate on that and also i can post it here on my community tab so check that out as well i'm planning on you know posting more and more consistently because you know we're trying to finish the year strong so let me know what other videos you would like me to do next and i'll make sure i do so for you um i hope you guys enjoy the look mm. I hope you guys did enjoy the look. I like it. Baby hair is the wave. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. The face too. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And the inches, baby. I did this back home. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you guys want to see more look, let me know down below. It was easy. When I got off camera, I just put my lashes on, highlighter, and I did my lips. So, yeah, guys. That is it for today's video. And I will catch you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.